Hello everyone, it's Rita here and um, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new and welcome back if you're one of my regular subscribers. I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to keep on working it, uh, working on it because it's just the way it is. And I'm trying to um, change it up somewhat because it didn't, um, it just didn't look right. You know, I couldn't get the right mojo on it when I was working on it the um, a day or so ago. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, well, let me glue this on and get that started. So I decided along this edge, I'm going to, um, let me get this, I didn't, um, there's always that little piece that gets stuck. So let me see, I'm going to put it on right there. Um, so, you know, <laughs> After, I don't know what it is, I just uh, couldn't see things um, clearly, you know. I mean, I just, I'm sure we've all done that where we, whoops. Um, you know, it just doesn't come to you. It just doesn't come to you. But then when I was finishing um, up that last one that I did, I put those buttons in it kind of said oh that's what it wants all right so I'm going to just randomly put the buttons let's see that one probably be these are ones I just pulled out I'm not gonna get all weird and figure out what I want to do but I, I think I want a lot of buttons so um, I'm deciding if I want fabric tack or this I think I'll use the Sobo um, and I'm not putting any ribbon or, I mean, um, thread or anything in these buttons. I'm just going to leave them out the way they are. Oh, that really should have probably been on the other side. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I am getting low on buttons, vintage ones. I got this pack of vintage they're vintage, but they're still kind of, um, you know, some that they make today. I mean, they still make the same buttons. All right. Oh, I got paint on me. I had one touch up of paint to do and I still can't do it without getting on me. Plus I got bruises everywhere. Okay, so I didn't like the flower. So what I thought I would do is, this was the flower I had on there. Um, I'm just going to camouflage it like this with some of the, I'm gonna come down, well, I can only come down so far to hide the top, but I think that kind of looks like a flower on there. At least that's kind of the way I, I see it. So let me um, glue stick this. And just stick that there. I think I'll just put a little bit of glue stick right there. Mm. Let me put a little bit of sobo down here. Well, it's kind of thick. Okay. And then we will use. This little, this was a little um, cluster that I made back, I don't know when, but um, I don't know, this one's not coming out either because I didn't do anything yesterday. My granddaughter's here and we were just running around and, well, I don't know what happened. 
sorry. Evidently, I didn't have that. And it's hard to find a pen that will go down in this little slot. Oh, there we go. Boy, it must have really got plugged up in there. Now, let me put this in and I can't get too close with these glasses because then I can't see at all. <laughs> it's awful. That's probably why it dried up. I probably didn't get it in there. All right. It's, whoops. Now it's all coming off the whole lid. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is up. There it is. Jeez Louise. You know, it's always when you get on camera is when it starts to act up. And I don't know. Maybe I still didn't get it. All right. Let's use some fabric tack. And I have to wait for that too. Okay. Okay, so that to me just camouflages the whole what I was doing because it just, it just didn't work. So, um, I guess I better leave that sideways so it, let's see if these will glue pretty good. Spot right there. So the weather today is outside right now it's about 10 30 ish 11 and it's just beautiful it's not gonna last but it's not humid so that's a good thing um because that's the part that really makes it hard it's when it gets the humidity okay now i don't know what i'm doing okay um i wanted to sew around this and i didn't do that yesterday so um, in here, I'm going to put, I guess, a couple tags. Now these tags are from both kits. I don't know whose is whose. I mean, that looks kind of plain right now, but once I get um, the backing on it and ink it up, I did get a new dauber for the, um, what is it called? Victorian Velvet. And it works so much better uh, than that sponge did. I didn't realize that that would make such a difference. And I'll sew some um, on the back of this. I just want to put a little bit of the vintage photo just to give it a little a more dimension. Probably going to stick the wrong dauber in the wrong ink but I'll try. Okay, and then up here we need a, um, we could put a journal card in there. I, I don't need to put anything there. This one will have a tab on the top. I think I'm just gonna try to use some lace and stuff like that for the tabs. In fact, maybe I'll just use this since it matches the um, this page, I think that look kind of nice. Let me just snip this off before I forget. So I hope everybody else is having 
you know, a little bit of um, relief from the heat if you had a lot of heat. Uh, I mean, we did down here. California is really hot The when I talked to my son the other day. Okay. I don't, oh, I could put that on because I have already, but I wanted to sew. Let me just um, glue it and then I can sew around it too. Thank you, Kathy, for sending me these little paint chip things. I always think about it, never pick them. In fact, yesterday I was um, at uh, Walmart, I think, and they had a whole bunch of chip paint chips, but they were big, like this size. And I like I was thinking about going over there and taking a few because you could die cut them, you know, a flower or something. Okay, so let me see here what... We have this is there's a big and that's not gonna fit. Um, let's see that'll stick out about right there. So I'd have to cut it down. That one's like too short. I'd like it to at least come out a little bit on the top. Like that much, maybe. Let's see if I have another journal card handy. I have a mess over here. Um, that one's too short. I don't want to hide that all I printed and all that. That was fun. I think that's just... Um, too short. All right, well, let's use this one. Can't. I'd like to maybe do something else today, but I don't know. I can't even think about things. What, um, hmm. Pockets and things to make. So I'm my granddaughter when she's gone, you know, she'll be gone tomorrow night, not tomorrow day. My granddaughter's in in her play. My other granddaughter, so we'll be going to that. Is it okay to leave it up that high? I think it is. I think I'll round the corners on this just look nice and then I'll put a backing on here. I think I'll just round them all. Whoops, almost maybe there. And I'll ink around this. So her play, it, it's Alice in Wonderland. Play. She didn't get the main char character, a little, another little girl did, and um, and her name is Amelia too, same as my granddaughter. But she's uh, I forgot what she is, something Rose or something. I don't don't even remember that character at all in the um, play. Let me see if we've got a, a tab that I could put with that. Um, where are 
be cows there you are. These are kind of pink pink. Let's see. These are the ones that Diane sent me. Those are so cute. But I feel like it's a little Oh, and actually, I don't want to cover that up. Okay, we're not going to do a tab. They can they can get this out easily. All right. Um, trying to think if we could put something like in this corner or something. Or another journal, I mean, not a journal card, but a, well, yeah, we could put a, a small journal card. That's too tiny. And I can't blow them up. Because that would be great. I need a bigger tag. That's what I need. Okay, I'm gonna make a bigger tag. Well, I do, I don't want to hide all the print in the back, but I don't want it to look really plain. Maybe when I put the ribbon on. Let's just call it that is done. Because I'll tie um, ribbon on there. And in here I thought I could just leave that open for journaling. This would be open for journaling. Um, we need a card in here. Okay, I need it to be not as wide. good but I don't know if I like the flowers with this journal That's, that one is good um, thinking instead of a tag maybe I could just put some lace down the side I don't even have to have a whole piece of lace on that just a scrap I think these are all scraps of white are they all white um, in here. I'm not going to audition every one of these, but that's kind of cute just sticking out. Right? Just a bit. I forgot I got these rosette things too. I'm just just looking. That's the fun of it, right? Okay, I kind of like this on here, so I'm going to <clears throat> I 
glue that on, but let me ink it first. This is one that um, work. Hmm. I wonder now if I should use something else. the ruffle sticking out. Okay. I guess when I glue it, it'll all stick down. Okay. This eyelet here um, was, I took it off of a, oh, I can't remember if it was a dress or just blouse or something that was vintage. Okay. And then I'll sew around that too um, when I put um, backing on there. Okay, hope that's not going to crinkle up too much. I guess it'll be fine. Alrighty, so, oh, wait a minute. We have this pull tab here. I mean, this, hold on. That's not gonna work there. Okay, let's do that again. I've had, you guys, um, my printer, I guess we got an update on, um, we got an update on uh, Windows 10. And every time, then it messes up my printer. So I lost some of the paint there, but it's okay. We're just going to mess it up. Okay, now it's in the right spot. I gotta keep my eye on that when I do that. All right, so now it's getting there. What about this? Side. Okay, that's gonna be there. So I'm thinking I just really want I can't have it past this or it won't open right. And I was going to put um, maybe the sorry silk. I should have got that pink down. I forgot to get it. Let me see if I have anything. Here, this is one that I got from uh, from Mary a long time ago. So I was thinking about doing that, gluing it in. That hides the whole entire picture. Doing it there. Okay, so that's not long enough. A second, let me. Oh, look at here. I think I 
super pretty. That way I can have enough of that. Come on. <laughs> Stuck in there. So anyway, my printer was out and I um, make this longer. I want to tie it and then cut it, but the bag is holding me up. Um, so my printer was not printing anything in color. It was printing everything in black and white. So I tried to um, trying to tie this. I don't want to. All right. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. I could always cut it off. It's getting pretty now, see? Okay, so let me get this like in half. And I think about right there is good. I just need to put a little touch of this. to hold it while I keep working on this. Okay. So then here, uh, what can I put down this like edge? I want it to be lacy, but I think, did I get this from Mary or? No, I think, I don't know, maybe Diane or Mary. I'm sorry if I don't remember all the. This would be kind of cute for a belly band, but then it's so uh, narrow that I don't know that we could put anything in it, the belly band. Yeah, that's too close to what it already is, so we can't do that. Okay, so um, I'm trying to think, do I have a flower that I could run up the side? I never have those side flowers, you know, the tall, skinny ones. have this it's the wrong color like that is what I'm thinking I don't have one that color I'm sure that I do not have a tall pink one I have this rose it's called bent Maybe I could just put a pocket here and a tag there. Just put a little baby pocket right there. Oh. Just, I don't mind the flower, but I don't want that part. I could cut that out. be cute if I had like a decorative edge. I 
that's kind of nice. I ink it up. I'm just going to put a pocket at the bottom or I can even put a tuck like this and then just slip a, a, a tag in there like that. That lady matches the front lady. So I guess I should do a different lady. But I was thinking a lot taller. Okay. That's like the first one I was going to put in. It's already ready to go with the tab. That looks okay. I really do. Let me put some of this pink on this one. Just so it kind of blends with it. Feeling this um, tuck is too that's all the effect you get when you close it and I don't like that this way with that and made a tuck. It still shows. All right. This looks like a dress a tag, but I don't think I have a cute string that I could attach. Do you need something? Yeah, is anybody up yet? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Granddaughter wants to go outside. And then my granddaughter that's in the play, she has to have a white dress. So my daughter went and bought her a white dress, but they only had it in large. You know how hard it is to go find a, a white dress in, in no time. You don't have any time. And um, so she called me and said, well, I bought a white dress, but it's in large, and I need you to take it up for, for her. I'm like, okay, nothing else to do. All right, I'm I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Um, I'll ta I'll sew those tags around off camera, and I think that's it's pretty cute. Even though, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, it took me forever, but it's cute. All right, so this goes in my um, 
finished the firmer box. It's the only one that I have. Well, I have the center page, but done. Okay, so what else? Um, so we have a little time. I don't know how much. Um, I don't know what I did. I think I put that back in there. How much time I have uh, left, but um, I saw on uh, Roxy Creations, she did this little pocket thing and she did it with book page. And I, well, you don't have to do it with book page. That's right. You can do it with anything. So let me see. Do I have a, um, a straight piece of paper? Because I knew I wouldn't have enough time to do the whole thing. Um, I kind of did like the one that was done in coffee paper, I mean, um, coffee dyed. I could do it in this, because it's solid. Mm. Oh, there's that paper I was looking for earlier. Okay, so, um, trying to think exactly how she made it. And could I use, so the inside, this is all printed on. I don't have any two-sided. real light um, so that would be okay to journal on or it doesn't maybe it doesn't need a journal card. happens to me you know I just have to fiddle with stuff all right I thought I took all the whites off of all these papers let me just cut them off so I'm sure you've all seen this um Gail did it whoops and I don't like to do the same thing I just saw for you know the first time I might do it later on but because everybody's just seen it done but it seemed very quick unless I don't know what I'm doing which is very likely okay so this I want for the outside this is going to be the inside so evidently we fold it like this and then we fold this little part over like this to make a little uh, flap area. Then this gets folded inside of here. So, see, the whole part of this is so easy. That's why, but now, you know, we can decorate. So now we have to cut this corner out. Oh, I just thought I just had my scissors. Oh, um, we'll cut this corner out. And I'm not going to slant it yet until I find out if it's um, too bulky. And then this part needs to be cut out. Or it needs to be trimmed like this. Okay, those, that makes 
these uh, pockets. This goes on the outside. Okay, so and that's I don't know what I did, but something's crooked already. Um, Just thinking. All right, let's ink it. Not right now. Are you you know, can wait. How much longer until your revision? I don't know when my timer goes off, but yeah, just hold off, okay? Please. Why don't you eat some breakfast? Um, she's been um, all into cooking, so. Um, yesterday we bought a cake mix and frosting. I don't know where the, what needs to be inked in this. I'm just inking it all. So, um, so in here we'll go uh, tags or journal cards or something. Hmm, looks kind of plain, doesn't it? Um, that background looks plain. How about we collage it with some book page? In fact, Gail strengthened these up, and maybe I can just fold a book page over the edge of it. Okay. This is my, one of my favorites here. I think we'll I think we'll do the whole area there. I know you guys probably um, Cool paper, coffee dye too. Using that vintage paper. This is some Italian page. Um, okay. Oh, there's my timer. Oops. Okay, so I guess. Um, won't be with me when I do this. I'm going to collage it. Um, off camera. I'm just trying to see how much I can fill in in different colors. Um, and then we'll decorate it. But 
you know, you know how to make the basic, the, the base. And they have all done, um, uh, what do you call it? Mouse making. Italian chew, this must have been from Mary. Because I don't have any Italian paper. But, oh, I love different colors of this. This just looks so neat. Plus, it's going to give it strength because the, the paper um, that I've used is not really that thick. Oh, that's got the Chinese writing on it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go and um, I'll finish doing this part. And I, I hope I can get a little more organized or uh, have some more, um, I don't want to lose that, some more ideas for some new projects or new um, pockets or something. There's not a whole lot of new stuff, so it's basically all in your decorating, I guess. You know, you use the base and every one of them come out different. Whoever makes it, makes it different. So. It's always um, fun to see, you know, what somebody else has done. Um, so I will see you in the next video. You guys have a great day. Bye.